Hello, I'm Pastor Steve Lee and from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Welcome to Daily Hope. Joanne and I have a friend who is oftentimes a thoughtful and thought-provoking armchair philosopher. She recently wrote this. This being the age of the iPhone, all of us take dozens and hundreds of photos all the time. We review them and keep the good ones, those photos that flatter us. And there are many other photos that we delete and immediately discard. In this way, all of us curate our own memories. And in doing so, we make more room on our phones for all the good photos. Perhaps this helps to explain why two or three people can share the very same experience and yet remember it so differently. Each of them has saved only the memories or the pictures of their experience that flatter them. It's an interesting reflection on the way we often try to curate not only our memories, but our lives, projecting to others an image we want them to see. I am afraid that we often do the same thing with God, thinking that we can sort of soft pedal what we might call our, our faults, our foibles and failures, but that God calls sin. That's one of the reasons I am grateful that when I come to church and worship begins, I join all who are present in confessing our sins. I love the archaic but reverent way we did it in the old red hymnal. I found it today and saw my marginal notes indicating when to turn toward the altar and when to turn toward the congregation. The pastor says this, Almighty God, our Maker and Redeemer, we poor sinners confess unto thee that we are by nature sinful and unclean, and that we have sinned against thee by thought, word, and deed. Wherefore we flee for refuge to thine infinite mercy, seeking and imploring thy grace for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then the congregation joined as we prayed, O most merciful God, who hast given thine only begotten Son to die for us, have mercy upon us, and for his sake grant us remission of all our sins. And by thy Holy Spirit increase in us true knowledge of thee and of thy will and true obedience to thy word, that by thy grace we may come to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then listen, my friends, to the glorious words of forgiveness and absolution spoken to our uncurated lives. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, hath had mercy upon us, and hath given his only Son to die for us, and for his sake forgiveth us all our sins. To them that believe on his name, he giveth power to become the sons of God, and bestoweth upon them his Holy Spirit. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Grant this, O Lord, unto us all. Please join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can bring to you our uncurated lives and our whitewashed memories of our lives, and we can bring them to you boldly before your throne of grace as children running into the arms of their Heavenly Father. So God, love us, embrace us, and forgive us as you promised to do. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me this day, my friends. I'm praying that it will be a good day as you remember that in Christ, your sins are forgiven, you are loved, and you are never alone.